What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another EA College Football 25 video. I'm Alfred Avenue. I'm here bringing you the latest on the game. I uh, just kind of wanted to give you guys some feedback on um, what I've thought of the game so far, you know, the modes that I've tried out, the actual gameplay, um, and just things along those lines. Uh, this shouldn't be too long a video. So just kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So this game so far has been really awesome. Uh, if you are expecting NCAA 14 2.0, you are definitely going to be getting uh, a bit of a rude awakening. Um, this game is like advancements in a lot of areas from NCAA 14 and then also like bringing back some of the old stuff from like uh, NCAA 2006 and things like that, like with the recruiting and, and things along those lines. Uh, but like, let's let's go into like certain topics first, right? So like gameplay. So gameplay feels new, like it doesn't look like Madden. I mean, it does like a little bit, but like not, so I'll put it this way. The like pre-snap changes that you can make in NCAA 14, you can do all of those same pre-snap changes, but they're with the Madden buttons. So like using the left on the D-pad to change your line shift, or to change their, like if you want them to slant left or something like that and using right on the D-pad to, to change your linebackers. And then, you know, to do, if you remember, um, if you like held, uh, I believe it was like the left trigger, you could hold up on like the stick, predict pass down on the, on the right stick to predict run middle, run left and run right. Um, but yeah, so that's all different, but you have to use like right bumper to do that now. Um, but it, it, in a feel sort of sense it does not feel like madden uh, but also like left bumper is not strip anymore it's like right bumper and then like there's the new like pl uh passing um revamped passing and stuff like that which like it is uh very different from the original game like th you could like add touch to passes by like how long you held it previously now you like hold left left trigger or like l2 to like you know lead the receiver throw it kind of over their shoulder and hit that those crazy passes um and then there's like a high pass i haven't like exactly like tried that much but anyways there's a lot of new stuff in the game that like it doesn't feel bad it feels really good actually when you do it it's just like in your first game if you open up with heisman and you think you're just going to come out there and pass the ball against the like a really good defense boy are you in for it um, the game has been a lot of fun. Like running is incredibly rewarding. Um, it just feels really good. It doesn't feel cheesy. Like I thought it would, um, like there are times where it's like, oh, if you just skirt just to the outside a little bit, like it, it feels like you're kind of getting away with it a little bit, but I mean, there, you throw so many interceptions, like it's, it's good that it, that it's rewarding. Um, it is a lot more, look, I'm going to be honest. I am not good at the game. I was good at NCAA 14, but it's like there were cheesy things that you could do and stuff like that. Um, and I like, I knew how to read people. I'm, I've always been kind of bad against the computer. Um, uh, just, I just always have been. Like I, I, I can win a national championship, but I, I just, I don't excel against the computer. I excel against people. Um, but um, this game is hard. Like if you come in on Heisman, it is difficult. It is not easy. It is... It's definitely like a step up from like, if you remember old Heisman, like if you're on Heisman, you're on Heisman. You're not on like, you're not on like, oh, this is kind of difficult. It's like, this is nigh impossible to play. Like uh, you'll see in like the gameplay footage that I have from Alabama, but like from playing the Iron Bowl, like they waxed me. It was like 65 to 20, which like I was bad at the game. I, you know, I, I didn't like the playbook. The playbook was weird. Um, it also feels like the def like the opposing team when you're on defense can like they do these weird like hot routes where they switch the receiver to the complete other side to like get a mismatch and then they send them on these go routes that just like blow past your defenders. But um, the gameplay is so rewarding. So it's like it feels hard, but like when you do something cool or do something good, it just like feels good like when you finally get a forced fumble and you pick it up and you like take it house you're like oh let's go um but when you do something bad like throw an interception like i had a game where i think i threw 10 interceptions like it is and i'm not like 
I wasn't just like running four verts and like throwing it up. Like I was trying to run like timing routes and like change it up and stuff like that. Uh, but it is difficult. Um, All American feels a little bit better. Uh, it's still a challenge. Like you're not gonna just come in and like run over the the opposing team, especially if you're using like a not great team, which like. I'm using Auburn in a in a dynasty mode right now, which we can kind of shift into talking about dynasty a little bit. But uh, I'm shifting into a dynasty mode right now uh, with Auburn just to like get. I thought I was gonna be using a good team and like kind of getting my like legs under me, uh, but it's it's difficult. Like even using Auburn, like they're you know obviously not a great team, but they're like you know a perennial SEC like contender. Like they're not gonna win every year, but like you know it's not super far-fetched for them to like have a good season or something like that but bro i came in against like fcs east on heisman southeast i mean the pandas shout out nte um not the expert but uh i came against them and they like they were torching me bro and so i was just like it, it was just crazy um in general like gameplay type stuff like running feels really good um if you just are patient to follow your blocks like definitely like be looking at like the abilities that your player has obviously like this is like duh but like in ncaa 14 you could just like if you knew they were good at spinning but didn't have the abilities like you would try it but like now you get like a little bit of like a boost it's not as like intense as like the superstar thing for or the x factor stuff from madden but like you can absolutely like with jarquez hunter for auburn like he does a spin move and like you feel him spin well and like spinning inside like uh bordeaux was doing against uh donovan edwards like in that game which like now i like dude i was being so critical of bordeaux i was like i would never lose like that and just got like roasted by the computer so like big ups to bordeaux for like i mean holding his own because like when you get into the game it's so there's so much going on like it's kind of a mind flood in the game like even so like if which i haven't played madden since like i haven't played a madden in forever like 2019 or maybe 2021 like it's been a long time and so like i don't have the muscle memory of like sending players on blitzes which like uh route or which like defensive assignment adjustments individual adjustments like do which things like on ncaa 14 i could tell you right now like this is this this is this this is this like all the different things like putting it in man coverage that's different now like there's a lot of different things so it's like a mind flood and then like the playbooks are like way different and the way they show up like you used to be able to see like the uh button for the pass like for who you're passing to on the bottom um the run pass option is in the game R option is in the game and it's way different it feels really good when you get it correct but it's like if you've been playing ncaa 14 for 11 years and you've been playing it recently you've got that muscle memory of like okay hold to give the ball away release to keep it and now it's like don't press to give the ball away and press to keep it which makes sense like especially on like the if you're like pulling an option for like an rpo or like a play action you can like pull it sooner that feels right but like when it's with the run it's like it, it, my, my brain hasn't like come back around to it yet um all that being said it is a mind flood like and i haven't figured out how to do mass subs i don't think you can which is kind of a bummer and then some of the like changing of the like players in like using the right stick to do that has been like i haven't quite figured it out yet like i've tried it and it just it, it, it's not as fluid as i thought it was going to be um but then also like on defense like doing the covered shells and things like that to kind of show cover two or show cover three or whatever um it i haven't figured out when to best do that and i'm sure i'll figure it out eventually uh, but the the game is a lot of fun and it's really rewarding it's just like you're gonna get your teeth you're gonna get your teeth punched in which uh just if you're not expecting that like expect it so another thing um like going into dynasty mode well i'll, I'll actually talk about road to glory first uh road to glory if you are a two-star do not go to a school that you have to um that you have to like compete for um for even being in like the top two positions like don't go if you need playing time and you're a two-star i thought i picked a school it, it was hard to like tell in the thing at first or i just didn't look at it quick enough because i was like oh i just want to play here um but like if you are not the starter at a school and you're a two-star 
you are gonna have a bad or if you're not like within like five overall or something like that it's gonna be tough and you're basically gonna be doing training simulator for the first season which is so boring like it was it was not i can't even like give it a like great rating because like i didn't even get to play any games in road to glory literally not a single game that i play in the first season of of road to glory um and so like which was my fault like i get that but like people are gonna do that and they need to like make it engaging and fun throughout like there was cool things like with like the text that i would get or like the small events that i would get training was okay um i also figured out like i would like to use an improviser quarterback versus a scrambling quarterback just because the like which i didn't get to play in game with them but just like the the, the option stuff was cool but i just and it was nice to like learn how to do it but yeah, Road to Glory, if you're not using a superstar at first, or you're not at least starting at, like, a small school or, like, a, a school in general, or at least within the battle, it is, it is, uh, it is a grind, like, a big-time grind. Um, but stepping on over into Dynasty Mode, Dynasty Mode is really rich. Uh, there are some, like, bugs and things that, like, I get annoyed with when it comes to, like, the recruiting board of, like, if someone does not have, um... Like, if they're not scheduled for visit, and then you schedule the visit, it pulls them off the board immediately. Like, I wish it would wait until, like, you you triggered away and then came back and then refreshed it. Because sometimes there are actions that I want to do after doing the, the scheduled visit um, that I just couldn't do because I, like, forgot the name or whatever. Because 35 recruits is, like, super hard to keep up with when you're just going through it. Also, like, the initial recruiting stuff is, like a lot like it you get into it and you're just like oh my god like the needs the interest like the offers like as a high school or juco um the, the 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 recruiting is really in depth which is good but it's like it is from going from just clicking over a bunch of times and like i mean you could search within recruiting and stuff in the old game and like filter by like top 100 filter by top prospects filter by your states your pipelines things like that uh which you can still do it's just like it is it's different so it's kind of mind flooding um but it's really in depth which is cool um in the actual like picking a team and stuff I, I did pick one with auburn which was a lot of fun and is currently a lot of fun um i played better against teams that i didn't think i would um and then played worse against teams that i thought i would play better um but dynasty it feels good um recruiting is tough um you have to get a couple rounds of it i feel like under your belt um to get the hang of it i think like gameplay wise I, if you're wanting to just get in and play the game learn the game i think play now is probably a better way to do it just from like learning the wear and tear stuff but um but if you're wanting to like build a program like simulating like the first season or like the the small games and then playing the big games might be helpful um, just so you can get like see how recruiting works how game and then coming in like play the big game so you can see like okay this is how this works um wear and tear i'm in game five or six with auburn um and jarquez hunter is already like crazily i'm my, I, my passing game is awful i throw like three interceptions or more per game but my run game if i can get it going if it's if i can get it going it's like jarquez hunters running just all the time and so that's another thing that I, I i have some issues with is like some of the auto subbing isn't isn't working like i anticipated like i want to be able to like know my second string is going to come in when wear and tear is really bad um but i guess like you can set some automatic settings for that but there's no easy way to look and just be like okay i'm gonna put in my second string unless you go to the depth chart mass subs doesn't really exist which i wanted to just go in click a couple buttons and sub in my second and and second string offense and defense um but wear and tear definitely feel it like i was i had like 100 something yards rushing which was like crazy and jarquez had like some some uh wear and tear stuff that uh my second and third string running backs ended up coming in which was cool um but i also didn't really get like an injury report when um eugene uh asante uh got injured like i didn't see it like it wasn't like apparent um, but it feels like it has impact it's just like you have to learn like within the game like there are things you just have to learn to like hold the right bumper to like protect the ball like don't try and juke and spin around every single hit get out of bounds when you need to like things like that um but yeah it, it the game feels really good th uh, thus far um and it's like it's been really exciting like i want to get into it more and definitely like 
hop into like rebuilding a dynasty um which auburn haha -ha is a rebuild whatever but like kind of figuring out how to recruit and do gameplay and things like that figure out a playbook that i want to use and and really like try different types of offenses and whatnot um i've definitely tried a few i think passing is just really hard in this game like if you like it is punishing uh like if you throw into coverage at all it is punishing but it's really rewarding like when you hit one of those over the top passes um but yeah i haven't played online and i haven't played ultimate team um so i may try that today on stream just to kind of like get a get a taste of what it is uh but i definitely want to like start my new dynasty coming up with like my rebuild with uh a team yet to be announced um but should be a lot of fun um and then also like i would like to try some like head-to-head -head stuff but like i'll just go ahead and say like if you're not used to this game this game is hard um and it, i mean if you're like an expert madden player you might pick up some of it uh and it might be easier because like the feel of it is better um compared to madden um but yeah um i'm enjoying it so far uh i don't think anybody expected it to be as hard as it was but i mean i just didn't watch like some of the content before because i wanted to ha like experience this fresh um so i guess if i like was not having as much of an open mind about it it would turn me off to the game i would not let the difficulty uh turn you off to the game um and i would not feel bad if you can't just start on heisman because it is difficult it is very hard I feel like the only way you can initially play on Heisman is if you are using one of the best teams, like using the Alabamas, the Washingtons, the, you know, the Georgias, the Texas, Oklahomas, all those dudes. Um, but if you are, if you are doing a rebuild or a worst to first, do not feel bad starting on all American or even going down to varsity. Like, I mean, shame, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're not a man, all that sort of stuff. But like, it's rough because you can't even like learn it because it's so punishing like you can't even learn the game or the mechanics because it's just that punishing and like we all started out as like 12 year olds playing ncaa which like the mechanics didn't really change all that much from like 2003 to 2014 I, they did obviously but like it was a very similar feel whereas this feels completely different it's the first new gen uh college football game and it's just tough Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this was a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be, but uh, it's kind of just like my feedback on the game, um, my initial reaction, my initial thoughts, um, and kind of like my plans for the future. Um, definitely going to be doing a Road to Glory, going to be doing a rebuild online and doing online dynasty with my buddies. Um, but yeah, thank y'all so much for checking out the video. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. It helps a ton. And if you want to see more in the future, subscribe down below. Uh, if you're having trouble picking your own dynasty team check out this video here uh, it can help you kind of make the choice between a couple of different types of dynasties and get you on your way to uh, rebuilding whoever you want or continue in the glory of a, a existing powerhouse but yeah thank y'all again i've been alfred avenue see ya